This is Danny. The hero of our story. The vessel through which you, the audience, vicariously experiences events depicted in this film. Danny is late for work. I need to borrow your car. I'm sorry. We ran out of money. Um, that's the truth, really. If you want to send us some money, we'll put in a chase scene, okay? And we'll put it on the DVD. But right now, uh, no chase scene. I need to stop the bleeding. Oh shit, you're bleeding. What do I do? I need for this to be hidden. What? What is, don't move, don't move. What is this? What do I do? What, what do I do? What is that? Is that a bomb? And I need to cover my track. I am way too high for this! Destroy you 
But in the end, you understand. And once you have fallen, I'll be there to hold her. This is Ruby. She lives across the hall from Danny. They have a history. Ruby, a new resident in the apartments, became interested in Danny. Maybe it was his innocent eyes, his slender frame, his rugged style. Maybe it was just the long hours Ruby worked at the hospital causing a lapse in judgment. For whatever reason, she became infatuated with the boy next door. After a particularly stressful night in the ER, Ruby decided to do something about it. A poetic love note urging Danny to act seemed like a good idea at the time. Unfortunately for all the parties involved, Danny's older brother Jimmy was the recipient. Jimmy had recently taken two tabs of acid. Danny, who was at that very same moment composing a love ballad that he would never perform, was completely unaware of the whole note thing. Their relationship stalled. Ruby was still infatuated but felt spurned. Danny, who harbored strong feelings for Ruby but lacked the motivation or confidence to do anything about it, was just as awkward as before, but sensed some strange new tension. Some people got shot or something, so... Yeah, yeah, they did. What are you up to? Uh, just coming home from work. Cool? Yeah. How was that? It was... good. Oh, well, I'm gonna go. Um, okay. Good yeah, good talking to you. And that's why these long nights are great. You may not be in bed with your wife, but this one long night will pay for that fool. I need a word with you. I've heard about your little training operation. Sir, I understand things might have gone. Shut up, Harry. Herbert, only my wife. Considering that I can twist your balls harder than your wife can, I'm going to go right ahead and keep calling you Harry. Now, I'm here today to help you do a favor for me. What do you say, Harry? Would you like to do a favor for me? Yes. Good to hear. You can do a favor for me by wrapping up this clusterfuck quickly and with no loose ends. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Yes. Perfect. I'm bringing in an asset for you to utilize. He's been briefed on the situation. If you can't wrap things up on your own, call this number. He's a problem solver. Senator. Congratulations. You've just sold your soul to the devil. Sir! Sir, we've just picked the survivor of the crash up on a traffic camera. Great work. Stay on him. I want a grab team there now. Go! Now, hold on. Hold on! Bang! Dude, what the hell? I just watched a 12-hour Action X marathon. I think I might actually be Action what the hell is an Action X? The greatest unsung superhero of the 1980s? 17 movies? 400 illustrated comic books? Hello? You've just been x Dude, what the hell are you on? Acid. Uh, two or three mushroom caps. You got any food? Uh, 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, License to Explode, right? 1983. Have you ever seen this film? No. Okay, Vera Van Sisternen, and she plays the fucking hot Russian chick, and all of a sudden, Action X is hanging from the helicopter, shooting up at the motherfucker with the shark teeth. Bam, 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 bam. She's fucking hot. You never seen this? No. Dude, are you wearing makeup? What? Uh, no, no, I think I fell down or something. I don't know. I was really high. <laughs> Dude, where were you last night? I was on my paper route, and then these guys... Oh, shit! What is it? I don't know. Well, where'd you get it from? Some guy. Wait, wait, what? It, I want to see what it does. Yeah, me too. I've seen one of these things before, man. This is like one of those canisters they used to haul human hearts around the country in and shit. What? Dude, what if it's a bomb? Like a bomb from the future. Good work. Stay on it. If the grab team is five minutes out, who the hell are these guys? Sorry. What the hell, man? Uh, my name is Yorgi. I'm from the Russian consulate. Have a seat. I'm here to give you a chance to, uh, help me. Thanks. You're welcome. You have recently come to possess an item of vast importance. Check the apartment. Oh, yeah? Yes. But first, we have to get some paperwork out of the way. Between you and me, I'm running an unauthorized operation on foreign soil. Now, that means I can't torture you, interrogate you, ask you any questions whatsoever until you sign these forms. Now, I know it looks like a lot of paper, but I assure you we'll get through it pretty quickly. I have a uh, lot of practice. Danny? Yeah, yeah. Meet form A1890. <laughs> this is my favorite form. Once you sign it, you officially state that you give full, voluntary cooperation to me and my government. Essentially, it classifies you as an enemy combatant against your own government.
calling the asset. You, person, follow me. It's ringing. Hello? Hello? Yes? Uh, is, is this... If you have this number, then yes. Right. Um, it's not a bad time to... to... No. What do you want done? <clears throat> Fuck you! <laughs> Sorry. I don't like it when things get messy like this. I prefer simple joys. Neat stacks of paper, folders, labels, flowcharts. I don't like fluids or hurting people. That is why if you sign these papers, I don't have to make you bloody or hurt you. Okay, where do I sign? Please excuse me. Hello? Fantastic. Keep me up to date. Change of plans. Brain check and the torture. <laughs> oh, good. Lots of people. Right now, your brother is about to be killed by one of the world's greatest assassins. You have to defeat him, save your brother's life, and bring the capsule back to us. Otherwise, uh, we kill your family. What? What do you mean, what? I mean... Why the hell do I have to get the capsule back? I don't even know what the fuck it is. You have to do it. I can't get my hands dirty. What about Yakov and Smirnov here? Oh no, insurance policy. We don't have the budget we used to. So if I help you, you'll leave my family alone? Yes. All I gotta do is get the capsule. Yes. Okay. Game plan. Okay. Jesus. All right, game plan. I go in, grab the capsule, with the assassin trailing behind, and I run out of there, and you guys kill him, right? Close. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. No, no. Yes. No, yes. No, no. Ah! 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 My friend Daniel, he's really drunk. Oh, he's not drunk. Yes, he is. <laughs> so how long have you known Ryan? Just a minute. We have a really strong connection. I feel exactly the same way. Ryan and I were just my best friends in high school. We did absolutely everything together. Not everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you just sort of disappeared. Mr. Mysterious, whatever happened to you? Oh, oh shit! I do what I do. She's the one that got away. What? She went to prom with some jock, so I ran away. So you became an assassin because some girl didn't want to go to the prom with you? Dude, yeah, I know. It made sense at the time. Anyway, I have to kill you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, well, what's this girl's name again? Heather. Okay, Heather, Heather. Uh, Alright, I know this girl named Ruby, and I know exactly how you feel, man. 
Okay. But the thing about girls is they're like twinkling stars. And someday they're gonna stop twinkling. And so you just gotta grab them while you can. present a corporation. The item you so kindly retrieved for us was stolen early yesterday morning. What is it? Sign this. What? This piece of paper officially states that you don't care what it is. It also says that you will be awarded a sizable finder's fee. Is Seriously? Seriously. What, what, about, what about the people trying to, to kill me? Well, it's been made clear to them that it's in their best interest to leave you alone. <sighs> All righty then. <sighs> Anything else? Uh, yes, yeah, some pants would be good. <laughs> Size 32. Yeah. Thanks. Rough day? You have no idea. I might have an idea. I found these. Thank you. Watch the Action X marathon? What's Action X? I don't know. <laughs> but there's 12 hours of it. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? You do? yourselves in your new home. Hey, my pitch? <laughs> hey, one large popcorn, please. Oh, shit. I'm really sorry, guys. I completely forgot about Ryan. Ryan had an epiphany. The girl who originally caused his break from sanity had come back into his life. He took this as a sign. It was time to reevaluate his path. But first, thanks. You're welcome. 